Debris from a Chinese rocket launch is expected to fall back to Earth in an uncontrolled re-entry sometime this weekend. But the question as to when and where is still up in the air, so to speak. The Long March 5B rocket was launched into orbit on April 29th from the Wengchan Space Launch Center on the island of Hainan. Its payload was one of three main components for what will become China's first self-developed permanent space station that is set to be completed by 2022. The Chinese space station is set to rival the International Space Station that's been in service for over two decades now. After delivering the payload, the remaining 19-ton rocket stage core eventually descended into an elliptical orbit 160 by 375 kilometers above the Earth's surface, but has been losing height in an uncontrolled re-entry ever since. It is currently traveling around the world once every 90 minutes, at about 7 kilometers per second. Just how long it will take for the rocket's orbit to decay depends on its drag as it descends into denser atmosphere. Unfortunately, these details are not entirely known. US Space Command has been tracking the rocket and a number of space agencies and space debris modeling organizations predict the core could land anywhere between latitudes 41.5 degrees north and south, an area spanning from New York to Wellington in New Zealand, with a contact window of 18 hours, which is expected to vary significantly. Clearly, the details are still quite hazy, and it will be difficult to pinpoint the exact location until a few hours before landfall. But there is a small possibility that debris could fall in inhabited area. Unfortunately for China's space program, a similar incident occurred last year, when an identical rocket scattered debris on villages in the Ivory Coast. Thankfully, no injuries or casualties were reported, but some buildings were damaged. Jonathan McDowell of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics has accused the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation of being negligent, adding that these repeated uncontrolled re-entries reflect poorly on their efforts. Chinese state media bridled at the suggestion of negligence, with local media outlets reporting that the concerns were nothing more than Western hype and that the debris will most likely fall in international waters. The Long March rockets are the largest objects left to deliberately re-enter uncontrolled since NASA's Skylab mission in 1979, which dispersed debris over the unsuspecting town of Esperance in Western Australia.